Diane, the bus is running late. I'll try to make it. Yes, he'll be there on time. Okay. Bye. Mm. So I just read something really interesting. What is it, dude? They finally proved that these cell phones give you cancer in your head. What did you do? Like, read that on the internet? Well, yeah, but it was this big study that they did in, like, Sweden or something, and they had all these test subjects that worked on it. It's totally legit. You know, that's great and everything, but I'm not going to stop using this. Mm. That's the beautiful part about it. You don't have to because they finally figured out a solution. <laughs> Is it made of tinfoil and you wear it on your head? Dude, that's dumb. No. It's something that's not crazy. Well then, what is it? Basically, you have to rig up this little Tesla coil and you have to work it with the Bluetooth technology and you turn it on anytime your phone rings. And you carry it in your pocket? I mean, how's that supposed to work? No. You gotta shove it up your butt because it disrupts the electromagnetic radio waves through the iron in your blood. Um, you know what? I'm thinking bullshit on this one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Actually placed an order for one from Ikea on the way. It's real. Really? And it blocks cancer? Mm -hmm. Um, you know what? I think I'd rather just take cancer. Dude, don't be dumb. Come on. I don't know, man. Uh, hey, what do you think? I think that science sounds outlandish and preposterous. Um... Is that Nikola Tesla? I think so. But isn't he dead? I thought he was like 200 years old. Man, I wonder what he has shoved up his butt. Ah!